Alright, I am back with another Saber unboxing, but this time it's going to be on two Sabers, and they are from a place that I recommend so much, Imperial Workshop. I'm going to put their socials up on the screen now so you can find them. I cannot recommend this company enough. I recommend them probably more than any other company on my channel besides Corbands, maybe. I'm going to be showing you guys both of these Xenopixel Sabers from them. They are amazing. They are dual worthy. If you go on their site and you go down to the 2.0 section, that's where you will find these, the Scavenger and the Vega 2.0. The 3.0s are profies. Those are out of stock until I don't know when. Imperial Workshop is just another LGT reseller, so you might be wondering why are you getting all hyped about it. In my opinion, Imperial Workshop goes way further than any of the other LGT resellers like some of the ones on the screen that you may have heard of. They're amazing, their customer service is super phenomenal, better than most people's. Um, they're always willing to help you and talk to you if you have an issue, and it is the best bet for anyone out there who wants a spinning saber, a dueling saber, a nice saber, a display saber, anything. I'm pretty much just going to be unboxing this Vega hilt, um, but the only difference is literally when you buy these is the hilt. There's no difference in the unboxing. They come in the same thing every time. So I'm gonna be unboxing this one, but everything in this video that I say applies to this saber too and all of the other 2.0s, all right? Um, I do, however, think that the Scavenger is much louder than the Vega. They're both phenomenal. Anything in Imperial Workshop, I would recommend. This unboxing is gonna be pretty good because I'm going to unbox them. I'm gonna show off all the fonts and the features, take it outside and do a swing test and a durability test by throwing them as far as I can. I will already tell you that they're gonna hold up because I've already done it. So yeah, the durability test is going to be fun, something I haven't done before. Hope you guys enjoy. The timestamps are also going to be in the description pinned. Um, yeah. All right, so this is the unboxing portion. I have not touched a single thing inside this box except for taking the top of it off. So this is exactly what it's going to look like when you get one. All right, so let's start over on this end. You have the USB for updates. You have the Imperial Workshop manual with the Carly King on the front of it to tell you how to use the saber and all that stuff. Shout out to Carly. And then you have your screws, Allen wrenches, extras, and timing rings. Your charger, some styrofoam. And then all the way over to here is my hilt. And then obviously the NeoPixel blade.
Dark Ages. Cyber Terror. of light.
All right, so this is gonna be the durability test. I'm gonna throw this as far as I, as far as I can. This is the scavenger hilt. Let's see how it does. I kind of messed the throw up. We'll do it again. Okay, round two. Well, definitely hit pretty hard. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Amazing. All right, now I'm gonna do the Vega. I'm gonna throw it three times. <laughs> Kinda hurt. All right, number two. <laughs> well, I think that one counts. Okay, that one was actually really hard. <laughs> All right, now let's do them both. I think I knocked the battery loose out of this, but I think that was a good durability test. <laughs> Power on. Color change active. Color selected. Volume level, 9. Volume level, 10.